And since we will use the previous project to continue this Stripe project, so we are going to correct the config files. If you do not create a new Firebase project, you can keep this config file. But since we already create a new Firebase project, so we have to get the config files from project settings. And then we click on the web app. And then we type a web app name, web stripe, and register app. So now we copy these API keys to app IDs and paste to here. So we replace the old config files. So inside home.js, and we are going to add the state products and update the functions set products. So we use the use state, and then we have the products. And then we correct this to set products. And since we have to use the use state, so we have to import the use state from React. And now if you look at the database and we click on the continue to console, we click at the file store, we have the products here. And we are going to use the use effect to fetch these products. So now underneath the state, we type use state, we should use use effect. And then we also need to import the use effect from the React. And then if you remember, we have export the DB from the Firebase config. We need to delete this returned and delete the input. And then we use the DB from the Firebase dot collections. And then since the collections names is products, so we use the products. And then we want to choose the products that is active. So you can see this has the properties active, which is true. So we use the dot where active double echo to true. And then we use the dot get dot then. So we have the snapshot. So now we type npm start to start the project. We haven't set the initial state here. So we add the initial state as empty array. So the products at the first start is empties. So now we go to login. We haven't has any accounts yet. So we are going to sign up. Now we are going to console.load the snapshot to see what happened inside the snapshot. Now you can see the snapshot already displayed inside the console. And inside the snapshot, we have the documents. And there are arrays which have four items here. And actually, these four items is the database products. So you can see from the file store, you can get the products. And there are four plans here. So inside the array, we will get four items. And when you click on here, you can see the product ID, and which is the same as this document ID. So the first thing is we have to create an empty products object. So inside this credit bracket, and we type constant products is equal to empty object and then we delete this console and then we type snapshot dot for each so we can look through all the documents by using async and then the product doc and then we use product and then we have product dot dot id and maybe you can console dot log to see what happened inside the product document. Now you can see the product dot has the ID and also has the data. If you type product dot data here, you will now see the product dot and also the data which have the active true description plan free and which is the same coming from here. This is plan free active is true. So now we can construct a products object by using products and then product dot dot id is equal to product dot dot data and then we can console dot load the products to see what inside the products now and we delete this console dot load now you can see this is the result of the products you have the key values pair we use the document id as the key and the value is the data inside the document and we also want to get the price and we cannot see the price here. Maybe 
in heaven sync the products so we click on the real test data and go to the products for example we choose plan 2 and then we go to add additional options and we type some descriptions and click save now we try to see the plans and we type plan 2 now you got the price here so we do it one by one and choose plan 1 Now we should see all has the prices collections. So what we are going to do is we also want to add the price data to our products object. So now we go to get another snapshot from the prices collections. So we type constant price snapshot is equal to await and then products document dot ref dot collections and since the names is prices. So we type prices dot get. So actually this is almost the same as this one. So after we get the snapshot and we do the same, so we look through the document by using price snap dot dot for each and then price dot. So we add a properties of prices to the products document. So the products object. And then we use products and then product dot dot id and then dot prices is equal to price id and then price document dot id and then price data is equal to price dot dot data so after we already get the products we use set products to products so now we can take a look on the products again so now we go to the products object and we can see the prices properties here. 